All right, so I have a question regarding the bone marrow and the new technique that you developed for the BCRB class that's coming up in December. My question is, in regards to using the new bone marrow technique in relationship to maybe other joint techniques that we've learned from Chi in the past, when would we use this one in practice with our clients? So you remember, this class is called Brain, Cranial Rhythm, and Bone Marrow. And the bone marrow technique can be used separately for all kinds of condition, mainly joint articulations. So as I said before, a lot of profession wants to learn how to move joints. It's not easy to move a joint. I mean, trying to do it on a horse, try to do it on a bigger animal is very difficult. And initially we use a lot of high velocity. Actually, AT Steel, the father of osteopathy, didn't use too, many, too much of this uh, high velocity technique against the barrier. But I develop non-invasive technique to work on the bone, and at this point, I use four of them. And it's not the condition, it's for this person and for this joint, for this uh, situation, which one works and doesn't work. So somebody, you treat them one time and he comes back, you have to use a different approach probably, you didn't use the right tool for this situation, it was not the right way to do it. And it depends on what part of the joint you're gonna work with. So for example, the first one is called fluid articular release, and that works if you want with a flu fluid rhythm, um, like a synovial fluid rhythm, um, inter osseous, in the embryological articulation, articulation, diaphysis, epiphysis, and we also work intra osseous. So that's one aspect of it, but we can also work with the ligament. That will be a class in the future, uh, call, called NERL, neuro, neuroembryological release of the ligaments and tendons. And that will be the ligaments around the joints, and it creates a lot of clinical changes, pain usually if the ligament is out, and it's very important. important. This is what brings really the stability in the body. So it could be a ligament, and that's what you want to address. It's very fast also, but you want to find if it's a ligament. Then it could be that the problem, problem is not in the joint, but it's an attachment of a viscera. So we want to we consider that a visceral somatic lesion, and they are probably more important than a somatovisceral lesion, uh, a rib creating a problem on the viscera through the nerve, for example, is less common than the other way. A viscera pulling on a joint, and you could have a bladder, a chronic inflammation of the bladder, pulling the pubes, pulling the, the hip with it, the sacrum, the spine, you could have a backache or a neck ache. And finally, the bone marrow. Sometimes the bone marrow is what creates the big challenge, the miracle, when it makes the bone feel so aligned, and so you want to work with the bone marrow, marrow on each side of the joint, synchronizing the bone marrow motility on both sides of a joint, inter -osseous, and you can work intra osseous also. And in this class, we're gonna see how this bone marrow motility also modulate and can somehow treat the dysfunction of the cranial rhythm. Perfect, thank you.